Well, good morning. I thought I'd maybe take you along with me. Oh, my day. I'm just waking up. It's like 10.30, but that's about my wake-up time. Well, we'll see ya. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, today I'm going to be... Uh, well, I'm catching up on a lot of chores, so before I clean the kitchen up, I'm going to dye some pants. You ever had those pants where they're black? These aren't as bad. These are still kind of black, but these have gone completely gray. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to be dyeing them. And basically I'm going to start boiling some water. And I'm using this liquid Ritz dye. I haven't dyed a lot since my tie-dye days, but I keep old spoons, spatulas around for things, and just in case I need them, chopsticks, and of course rubber gloves. And then what I'm going to be dyeing in, because I don't want to dye in my washing machine, I'm just using uh, like one of those five gallon buckets from uh, Home Depot. And Hopefully, they'll look new again. Because, essentially, they're fine. They're, they're just gray. And I want them to be really black, black. So, I'm going to give it a try. I'll take you along on the journey. Could be a, <laughs> a real journey. Well, I'm boiling two big pots of water. But after reading the instructions, I think I'm going to go for about maybe half full, two gallons or so. So any more water I need, I'll probably just get from the hot water. Um, so let's hope that works. I mean, it's that bound to work because this will do two pounds, that bottle will have uh, two pounds of clothing, it said. And I'm good for that. I mean, they're just two lightweight, skinny jeans. <laughs> it's funny because it says, use, um, <laughs> it's funny. I should turn it down around a little better. It said to use um, a cup of uh, salt, granulated salt. So I'm assuming I only had kosher, so I'm going to use about like maybe a half a cup. Well, water's boiling. Oh, and don't forget the gloves. So I think the most dangerous part of this is, wow, be sure to wear oven mitts because it is hot. So I'm going to stir in the um, salt now. Get it. And I'm glad I went down on the kosher because it's really salty water. <laughs> this, it's just, it's scary dye, black dye is. So I've got the dye in. Peek and show it to you. There it is. So I'm going to take the clothes and just start dropping them in. I added a little more, just a little more tap water to this. There, one. That was easy. Hold on, need to change hands. Here goes pair two. I said I put the worst pair in first. So let's dab it down. My gloves on. It's like it's steaming hot, but I have the window open. It's a nice day. I should be doing this outside, but I just thought I'd have to drag it in and out. So I cleared off everything. Put some plastic down on the floor just in case. 
oh, and have all black clothing on. So, now I'm going to hit the oven timer because it's got to set in the hot water. Which, by the way, you know, this is hot, hot. I mean, they are basically cotton pants, but I think that they'll be okay. But I would not do anything good. These are my everyday pants, so. Oh, steaming up. Well, I guess I'll see you in 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes, and I've put each up pair of jeans in each sink. So this is where the gloves are going to come in handy. I'm going to proceed to hand rinse them now in cold water to set the dye. See ya. Well, my thoughts on hand dyeing <laughs> two pairs of blue jeans. One, I think I'd do it again because I love them. And hands are clean. That's where the rubber gloves come in. They took forever to rinse out. Um, and I live in a very ecology-minded community, so I felt like I was breaking some rule using that, that much water. Could not use totally cold water, though. Ugh. It was just too cold. Ended up using my chopsticks the most during the 30-minute um, die time. I kept poking them. So I think the chopsticks are the more valuable. I think the spoon was good for stirring in the dye. They're real black. <laughs> but that's what I wanted. Um, they are outside right now dripping. Because no matter how I wrung them out, wrung them out, wrung them out. I kind of felt at one point kind of like, you know, doing my, I was doing my laundry at the creek. Um... So they are outside on plastic furniture with plastic over it. I took the two bags, the, just the two tall garbage bags that I'd used to put down on the floor, put them over some plastic lawn furniture. It's, it's nice out right now. Um, so I'm going to let them dry overnight, and then I think I'm going to put them back in the sink, but put some vinegar in them, the sink to set the color. Would I do it again? Yeah, because I love, I love these jeans. It's just, you know, when you get a pair of jeans that fits just right. They're like, they're tight, but not too tight. They're not baggy. Yeah, I'd do it again. Was it hard? <laughs> it was really hard hand rinsing them. Oh, well, that's my experience with the dye job. Well, tonight I'm going to be cooking corned beef. Does it? Oh, there it is. Basically comes in this packet and it has a little slimy packet inside with some seasoning on it. I basically just put it in a, a pot with the lid. And I always add some garlic powder and a bunch more pepper. And I'm probably going to let it bake for like an hour and then I'll end up adding some little teeny white new potatoes and some cabbage and just let it go to town. It's kind of like one of my one pot meals and I love corned beef. So I've added some um, little white potatoes. They're baby yellow potatoes. There's added enough, you know, to equalize it. So now I've chopped up the cabbage and I'm just going to lay it around and make sure uh, that it has, you know, it still has about an inch or so. I throw it on top, I throw it all over. Um, cabbage wilts and it just kind of nice if it has. So it's like about three quarters of a head of cabbage. Um, and I'm going to throw a little 
salt and pepper on it. Put the lid back on, throw it in the oven for about, I don't know, probably about a, another 30 to 40 minutes. The cabbage is going to wilt, get a little brown, and it's going to be a really nice corned beef. And it's like, you know, one pot cooking, and I love it. So this is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, cabbage, everything's just done fine. So basically the hardest thing was, <laughs> I don't know, cutting up the cabbage. Well, bon appetit.